This is Ben with bkashaaudio.com, and in this video we're going to take a look at bmon, which is a cool piece of bandwidth monitoring software for Linux. It has a nice user interface in the terminal. So to install it, you simply have to type sudo apt install bmon. I'm on Kubuntu Linux, and I've already got it installed, so it's going to tell me that. But if you don't, that's the command that you would type in. We'll start it up by pressing bmon, and this gives us the default user interface. You can view a quick help menu if you press the question mark key. If we press question mark again, that'll make it disappear. Up at the top, it shows all our available network interfaces. So right now, the only network interface I have connected is my wireless, which is WLP5S0. So I can scroll down to that, and you can see we have some activity there. In fact, let's run a download. I've got an Ubuntu ISO, so we'll just start the download of that and we can see the activity on the graphs. If I wanted to start up Beamon with just that interface, I'll quit out of it by pressing Q, and let's do an IP link show. So I can type Beamon dash P flag and my interface, which is WLP 5S0. And now I only have that interface available at the top. So if you don't want to see any of the other inactive ones, you can use that command flag. So again, L will hide the interface menu. Uh, the D key will show more detailed statistics. And the I key will show additional information. And you can hide those and make it as minimal or as uh, full of information as you like. Now the graphs can actually, you can scroll through the available statistics with the right and left arrow keys. So right now we're seeing incoming and outgoing bytes, but if we go to the right, we can see packets. We can see errors, which currently aren't recording, but if we want to initiate that, you can use the H key, and that will begin recording those errors. And there's a whole mess of other uh, statistics that we can see. If you want to see additional graph information, you can hold down the Shift key and use the greater than and less than keys to show more graphs or less. The G key will actually get rid of the graphs entirely. And if we press G again, it'll bring them back. If you want to switch the time units used for the graphs, you can use the tab key. And we went from seconds to minutes, minutes to hours, days, and then back to seconds. So you can cycle through those. And the Q key will exit the application. The default display mode for Beamon is Curses interface, but you can also have it output in ASCII format, which may be better if you want to log some information or script it in some way. So that's just a quick software spotlight on the Beamon bandwidth monitoring program. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and visit bkashaaudio.com for more tutorials.